Before she was a great American family favorite, Danica McKellar made a name for herself as a Hallmark star. She graced over a dozen of the network's original movies before she left the Hallmark Channel, solidifying her status as one of their most recognizable faces. Still, her transition to GIC hasn't been much of a departure despite a more responsible role, as the Wonder Years star found herself working alongside some old Hallmark co-stars, teaming up with her former Hallmark Channel colleague, David Hayden Jones, McKellar co-stars in the 2023 GIC movie, Swing Into Romance, a heartwarming blend of dance and love. The Hallmark alumni joined forces once again, marking their first on-screen reunion since they starred in Hallmark's 2016 holiday romance, My Christmas Dream. Their experience under a new network was as fun as ever, mimicking the time they spent together seven years earlier. This was probably the most fun I've ever had shooting a movie. McKellar told the Digital Journal about filming Swing Into Romance, praising Hayden Jones as devoted for his commitment to learning how to dance properly. She noted, David put in the time, and I couldn't have been prouder of him. He really did a great job. Still, McKellar was there to guide him every step of the way, as she was on Dancing with the Stars in 2014. When speaking to Movie Guide about the experience, David Hayden Jones shared it was no easy task to put on dancing shoes for real. I really only had three weeks to rehearse this, the actor shared, as Danica McKellar tackled samba, tango, salsa, and other dances during her Dancing with the Stars gig. She made sure to provide Hayden Jones with all the information necessary to turn him into a real-life dancer. It was the hardest thing I've ever done as an actor, Hayden Jones told Movie Guide, explaining, that energy, the lead, the touch, and the signaling. It is such a specific skill set. In both films, the now GAC couple portrays love interests. In Swain Into Romance, McKellar took on the role of Christine, an ex-dancer striving to rescue her family's business by returning to dance, a journey that involves partnering with her former fiance Matthew, played by Hayne Jones. Interestingly, in My Christmas Dream, McKellar was Christina, a store manager in need of assistance from a handyman, portrayed by Hayne Jones, whom she had fired just days earlier. The co-star duo also had a great time filming My Christmas Dream, even though no part of it was nearly as exciting as the dance sequences in Swing Into Romance. In an interview with the Hallmark Channel, Hayden Jones gushed, We've had so much fun, scene to scene, the whole movie. In addition to enjoying their time together for the sheer joy of it, David Hayden Jones and Danica McKellar had a genuine connection as soon as they met. During her interview with the Hallmark Channel, McKellar revealed that they both have a penchant for mathematics. Hayden Jones went to college on a math scholarship. While she holds a PhD in math and is a best-selling author of children's math books, we just totally hit it off. He is a total nerd who doesn't like to admit it, McKellar jokingly said. Hayden Jones shared the sentiment in his interview, too, noting, We've had great chemistry. We're like a brother and sister in terms of how we tease each other. When Speaking to people about the project, McKellar shared that it was her dream to reprise her dancing role in a Hallmark movie ever since Dancing with the Stars came to an end when she was voted off in week eight. While the Hallmark Channel fulfilled this dream for her, the star decided to part ways with the network in 2021, as reported by Deadline. The reasons behind Hayden Jones's move from Hallmark to GAC remain unclear including whether it is a permanent transition or if he plans to work with both networks. Other than My Christmas Dream, Hayden Jones starred in a number of Hallmark's popular movies, such as A Bramble House Christmas, Dear Santa, and Five More Minutes. Danica McKellar is updating fans on her commitment to read the Bible in 2023. As some of you know, I am reading the entire Bible this year cover to cover, she said in a video for Great American Community. I just wanted to give you my impressions. 
The actress said, I feel like, when I get to the end of the Bible, it's going to feel like, okay, now I can start. Like now, I can start trying to absorb all of the patterns, and I know it's all getting in. Not be conscious of all of it getting in. McKelleter also shared the lesson that really stood out to her as she finished reading the Old Testament. There's a lot that I really, really love in the Old Testament. There's a lot to learn, she explained. My takeaway from the Old Testament is really the sovereignty of God, and that humility and forgiveness are the two things for us to keep our minds on in our relationship with God and our relationship with the world. McKellar concluded, I discovered that through the Old Testament, that humility feels good. When you're humble before God, it feels good. Humility is a gift. McKellar has frequently spoken about her Bible reading goal this year. In an interview with Pure Flix, she said, I'm reading the Bible all the way through this year. That is my goal, and it's happening. I also listen to the Bible on my phone. It's so great. I do it when I'm putting my makeup on or folding laundry or whatever. So it happens. My life can't get too busy to do it because I get to listen to it while I'm doing things that I would be doing anyway, and it's just wonderful. McKelleter also revealed why she hasn't chosen a favorite Bible verse yet. I don't have a favorite Bible verse yet. McKellar said during an Instagram live stream via church leaders. I need to get on that. I've had a few people ask me that. She continued, I'm just absorbing it all right now, but I haven't settled on any favorites. My guess is that my favorites are going to come from the New Testament, which I haven't gotten to yet. I've heard a lot of things from Philippians that I just love. I'm looking forward to getting to that one because I know there's a lot in there. My favorite verses will come from there, I'm almost positive. Movie Guider Previously reported on McKellar's goal to finish reading the Bible this year, Great American Family star Danica McKellar recently revealed a new way she's approaching her goal of reading through the Bible in a year. In a new episode of Faith Betites on Great American Community, McKellar shared that she's listening through the Bible. It's very enriching and motivating, McKellar states. I love the combination. Oftentimes, I'll go back and read what I've listened to. McKellar said that listening to God's word helps her stay on track despite some days where she is unsure if she will have time to read. I know I will always have time to listen to it, she explained. We are a crowdfunded organization, supported by people like you. These are some of the reasons why our supporters choose to give. The comprehensive movie reviews. It takes the guesswork out if movie viewing. Brenda, you can make a difference with as little as $7. It takes only a moment. If you can, consider supporting our ministry with a monthly gift. 